Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Light Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. I'm going to be doing a general check-in for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm going to tap into the energies that are surrounding you at this time and see what message your guides and angels have for you. So if you're a cross watcher here for Leo, please remember flip switch the energies and roles. If it doesn't resonate, don't force it. Check out other placements. If you're interested, I do have personals available. You can connect with me through the email provided in the description box for the video. What is the energy surrounding the Leo Collective at this time? And what does Leo need to know? So this is Wisdom of the Oracle deck for those interested. Time for a nap in the reverse. Time to wake up. <laughs> it's time to go, but in the reverse. So it's time to be present in the moment is what I'm getting. Time for a nap in the reverse and time to go in the reverse. So it's time to wake up in this present moment. There's something that's surrounding you that you're unaware of because you're not paying attention, right? There's something that you are closed out to at this time. There's something needing your attention in the energies that are surrounding you is what I'm getting here. Spirit guides, angels, please give me more energy for that which is surrounding Leo at this time. What does Leo need to know? What is the energy surrounding Leo at this time? For the greatest good of the collective energies. Fool in the reverse. So definitely there's something in this current cycle that needs your time and attention. What are you not paying attention to? There's judgment here. There's karma being played out here. And it's something in regards to a cycle that you're in. You need to wake up. It's time for you to be present. It's time for you to recognize what's not working. It says, have the courage to embrace change, take risks, be adventurous. There's fear. You're afraid of something. There's something that you're avoiding in the energies that are surrounding you at this time. But there's judgment. There's karma. There's there's um, universal energy all around this cycle. It says soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. So there is something that you're avoiding experiencing. There's something that you're connecting to that needs to be dealt with in the present moment. You need to wake up. There's something that needs your attention right now is what I feel. So let's see what that is. So I'm going to dive in deeper with tarot. I'm going to be using the Mystical Moments deck. So I call upon my team to protect my energy, my spirit guides, and my angels. I call upon Leo's team to protect their energy and vibration. Only allow messages of the highest, widest light of the best intentions for the collective as well as for myself. Please clarify this message for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So if you have not done so yet, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit the notification button so you're made aware when I'm uploading content. I would appreciate that very much. Please clarify this message for Leo. The first card will be the anchor of this message. Emperor in the reverse. So there's a masculine that is not taking responsibility. There's someone connected to you. It doesn't have to be a male, but of masculine energy at this time, somebody out of control. There's someone, and this could be you, but there's Aries energy with the emperor. There's someone that's definitely not taking responsibility for something. There's definitely someone in an avoidant energy. It's time to wake up. Somebody is off the rails here. Somebody needs help. Someone's stuck. Someone needs to go inward and heal something. There's This could be um, a, a masculine. This could be a father figure. This is the anchor. Someone's out of control is what I'm getting. And we've got six of wands at the bottom of the deck. So someone feels like a lack of validation. Someone feels like they're not seen. Someone is lacking victory. Someone is spiraling with that six of wands. Five of wands. Someone needs to stop playing games. And come out of this place. Someone needs. So there's definitely someone out of control. That's connecting to you at this time Leo. Please show me the challenge of this message. What is the challenge of this message? Please give me more. What is the challenge here for Leo?
page of cups. There could be a child that's connecting to you. There could be a child that's affected because the emperor in the reverse can be a father figure and the challenge is so you could be co-parenting with someone that you need to be aware of is not um not in control of their capacities at this time this is someone that's off the rails there's someone that is not taking responsibility possibly for children um there's someone that's very emotionally immature there's someone that um needs a wake-up call someone needs to um Someone needs to wise up is what I feel. Page of Cups energy, that's Pisces. So the challenge is a message in regards to a very youthful energy, a youthful love. Again, I'm picking up children because the emperor in the reverse could be a father figure. So take it as it resonates. But there's somebody that's very um, emotionally young that is the challenge. I'm going to have to dive deeper. King of Wands, King of Cups, the devil. Someone that you love, Leo, is spiraling in a toxic energy, in a toxic cycle. This could be affecting children. This could be affecting a family. And there's an energy of a lack of justice here. Have courage to embrace change. Somebody's stuck in a very toxic cycle. And this could very well be affecting children. Someone is needing to take a leap of faith in a new direction. There's karmic justice here. It's time to wake up. Someone's stuck. It's time to wake up. Someone's stuck. And this is affecting children. Could be. Show me the energy of the recent past in regards to this message. Show me the energy of the recent past for Leo. Ten of Wands in the reverse. So you walked away from somebody focused on, you're focused on taking care of your obligations, commitments. You're focused on healing something or um, caring for something. And in, in doing that, you had to release somebody that's out of control, someone that isn't taking responsibility for their um, for their commitment, for their obligations. I don't know if obligations is the right word. There's somebody that isn't doing their part. There's someone that's gone off the rails. And this is someone that needs to change. This is someone that needs to take a leap of faith in a new direction. So Leo, I feel you had no choice but to let this person go with the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Could be dealing with Sagittarius, but there's definitely something that you've had to release. There's an ending here. And not only is it ended, you've let it go because you're focused now on healing something or taking care of something that you love is what I, what I feel. So take that as it resonates. You had to let something go in order to do the work. You had to let something go in order to take care of others, in order to allow something else to grow. So I feel this could be, and this is very specific, um, but take it how it resonates. I do feel that you had to let go of someone that was not honoring a commitment, could be dealing with children. And in order to do what was right, you had to let go of something that was very heavy. And that's validated is what I feel. Whatever it is that you released, you had to do because you had to take care of something, right? Take that as it resonates. You definitely had to take care of something because there's something that you're invested in. There's something that you're responsible for and you are being validated with that eight of pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is Virgo energy. So you are putting the work into something that is expanding, that's growing, something you care about. So you had to let go of someone that was spiraling, that was not in control of their uh, of, of their life. Someone's out, out, out of control. You had to let go of a masculine. Could, again, could be a father figure because this person wasn't taking uh, responsibility in, in a way that was required of them. So you had to let them go. Because there's something that you're very invested in that is more important than dealing with this person. Because this person needs to wake up. This person needs help. So you had to let them go in order to focus on the things that you are responsible for, is what I feel. What is the outcome of this message for Leo? What is the outcome here? What's the outcome of this message? Five of Wands in the reverse. Leo energy outcome. You're going to stop playing games, Leo. You're going to take yourself out of the equation. You're not going to fight with this person because you see that this person's stuck. 
There's no winning in this situation. When you're dealing with someone that's so out of control as this masculine is connected to you, you see that there is no vantage in fighting with this person or fighting for this person. You are done fighting for this person. You are done carrying this person. And now you're focused on what needs to be focused on, whether that's children, whether that's a new love of self. That's what I'm getting here. So that five of wands in the re reverse is the outcome. You are going to stop fighting for this person. You're going to stop fighting for this struggle because it's been a lot. It's been heavy for you, Leo, is what I feel. So you're going to release this burden and you're going to focus on what you need to focus on. And that's validated with that Page of Cups energy. You could be focusing on your children, self-love, self-worth, because that none of that was possible while you were dealing with this very out-of-control emperor in the reverse. There's slow movement. There is achievement in the background, the chariot, right? So when you have castles and tarot, that represents achievement. So slowly but surely, you are making progress, right? You are reaching the end of a very tangible thing towards some type of achievement, and in doing that, to achieve what's meant for you, you needed to release something very burdensome is what I'm getting in your energy. So guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, I'm going to clarify this a little bit deeper, all right? Please clarify the emperor in the reverse for the anchor. Why is the emperor in the reverse is the anchor of this message for Leo? King, queen of swords in the reverse. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Three of Pentacles. So you were married to this person that's gone out of control. If you weren't married to them, this is someone that you were very seriously committed to. There's there's a contract here and this person's very codependent. This is someone that's dealing with alcoholism. This is someone that's a liar. So this masculine that's attached to you, Leo, is someone that you were in contract with. This is someone that you were meant to learn something from, right? And what you're learning right now is this person's completely out of control. This person's very stuck in their cycle and it's not a good one. This person is nine of cups in the reverse. That's my card for alcoholism. Take it as it resonates. Some type of an addiction. This person is not being honest. This person is lacking clarity with queen of swords, Aquarius energy, nine of cups, Pisces, three of pentacles is a contract. It's Capricorn and the emperor in the reverse. So you had no choice but to focus on something other than this masculine that's showing up in your energy that you were committed to because this person is very selfish and broken is what I feel. The hangman in the reverse, this person sacrificed you and this person will continue to sacrifice you as long as they are spiraling in this out of control energy. So you realize that and that could have been affecting children. So you had no choice but to release this burden that's been put upon you from this connection. Now this is teaching you something. Right in this cycle, you're teach you're being taught something. You need to trust as well that you have alignment and protection here. You and your children are safe as long as you continue to do what's best for yourself and for them. Because this person has not done that. This masculine you that you're attached or is attached to you. This person is still spiraling in this energy of being out of control. Give me more on the page of cups for the recent past. Five of Cups. This is someone that you were in love with. This is someone that you care about. This is someone that you possibly had a family with. This is someone that you were married to or in a very serious commitment with. Page of Cups. Five of Cups. Right? You spend a lot of time, you know, um, you spend a lot of time grieving over what didn't work. There was a lot of potential here. You know, that wasn't always bad with this person. But I do feel that you had to, to release it because there's pain here. There's pain attached to this connection that was causing a lot of burden. That was keeping you from your commitments and your, your uh, responsibilities. So you had to let this go is what I feel. That five of cups energy, that Scorpio and then eight of wands. You had to pull back your energy from this person that's out of control and spiraling at this time. So you could focus on yourself and your family or your responsibilities. Take it as it resonates to your situation. Give me more on that Ten of Wands in the reverse, please. Give me more on that Ten of Wands in the reverse. Ten of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Ten of Wands in the reverse. There's validation from spirit. This is difficult. This has been so heavy. You had no choice but to put it down. You were, you were drowning, right? There was no support here. 
This was all on your shoulders. You had no choice but to let this go because this person's so out of control. You stop fighting for it. And there's validation. The chariot, this is repeated. This deck, second deck, all the same cards, chariot, cancer energy, right? You are moving towards a new achievement and it's necessary for you to keep boundaries with this person that's out of control. Even though you love this person, it's been so difficult. You need to stop fighting for it. Give me more energy on the five of wands for the outcome in the reverse. Give me more on the five of wands for the outcome in the reverse spirit. Seven of swords. This person that's attached to you is in deceptive energy. This person is stealing your time, your energy. This person is causing you nothing but burden and pain. So there's validation that you need to stop fighting for this. I mean, obviously you have free will, but it's about trusting everything is happening in divine timing, right? This person that you're dealing with is very stuck in a cycle of selfishness, lies, manipulation, and that is what I see. And you've got to release that. It's not yours. It's, it's drowning you. It is keeping you very stuck. And you're meant for something more, even though you have love for this person, Leo. Seven of Swords energy. That's Aquarius energy. Bottom of the deck, King of Wands. Knight of Swords, Two of Wands. So you will come out of this place of lack, invested in yourself, putting your energy inward, putting your energy in better places, putting your energy and time into something that is more tangible that will take you out of this energy that has been attached to you from someone else, this masculine that's out of control. You're going to turn your back to that situation. You're going to break your, you're going to break communication and you're going to take control of your situation is what I feel, Leo. That's your message. Let me know if it resonates. Subscribe if you have not done so. Thanks for watching, Leo. Take care.